Now to coverage from Trumbull County, and that's where police say an elderly driver crashed into three apartments at a senior living community in Cortland. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley talked to one of the people whose villa was damaged in that crash. She has her reaction tonight at 6. On Arcaro Street in Cortland, a blue tarp covers two apartments damaged in an accident Tuesday night. A bit of chaos for the typically quiet Walnut Run senior villas. We don't have this kind of excitement, just maybe somebody falling and calling an ambulance or something once in a while, but nothing like this. Fran Burns was home when a vehicle slammed into the front of her home just before 1030. I was sitting in the living room watching TV and all of a sudden there was this loud explosion. Our car just ran into the side of my house, went down and ran into the garage in the house next to me and the person sitting in their car. Her spare bedroom not only was damaged from the crash itself, but also was flooded since the water line was hit. Burns says she didn't know the driver was her elderly neighbor at first. I heard the car revving and then seen him trying to leave and I'm yelling, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Well, back at this scene today, you can still see the tire tracks leading from these two apartments to the third, which police say the woman hit after she tried correcting herself. Burns says the driver is handicapped and recently got a new vehicle. She's only had it about three days, so I don't think she really knew how to drive it yet. The 83-year-old driver told officers she backed up onto her grass and was trying to correct her positioning when she accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake. Police say the driver had minor injuries, but they will be referring her to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles to reevaluate driving privileges. In Cortland, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.